So I made this video about Evangelion on Netflix, and it somehow got a lot of views, but I don't think I talked about the new English dub, so let's do that. The first Evangelion dub was produced in 1996 by ADV. It's a classic dub and stays rememberable thanks to the talented voice work. Allison Keith as Misato. Bitch! Tiffany Grant as Asuka. Amanda Wynn Lee as Rey. And Spike Spencer as Shinji. Where the fuck? Like Dragon Ball or Cowboy Bebop, these voices are so recognizable it's hard to hear anything else. But that's what Netflix wanted to do. A new dub was made with Casey Monolo as Shinji, fuck. Carrie Coran as Misato, like Rain Bartley as Rey, and Stephanie McKeon as Asuka. <laughs> it's a weird decision to redub it, but Netflix wanted to do it. Actually, Japan wanted to do it. Yeah, production studio Kara was the one that did the casting. Apparently, Japanese studios have a lot of decision play when it comes to English dubs. This video isn't dunking on the new dub, but there are some little problems I have. The biggest is translation. ADV translated a lot of what would become famous lines, and nearly all of them are changed. I mustn't run away. Don't run away. I'm saying I love you. I'm saying I like you. I'm so fucked up. I'm the lowest. Some will say this is just nostalgia, but others would say that they work better. I guess it's just subjective on which you prefer, what lines sound right for what situation, but one-liners aside, the exact wording doesn't flow right. It's okay, let her take the point if that's what she wants. Are you sure, Major? If she screws this up, that bitch won't be piloting anymore. You mean this is her last chance? Start preparing her replacement, just to be safe. Let her go. She can take point if she wants to. But Major Katsuragi! I suppose if she fails today, then that's the end for Asuka. This is her last chance, isn't it? Let's start thinking of a new pilot to replace Unit 2's. Some liberties need to be taken, but Netflix feels like a direct translation. It's subjective, but I feel that certain lines come off as unnatural. When dubbing, you have to change a few lines and find the right ones to match the scene. This is probably why most people don't like dubs, they want a direct translation, and that's fine, but personally, I want my dubs to flow better. Mm -hmm. It's a call for you from Germany, Asuka. I think it's your mother. A call for me? My mother? Give me that! It's an international call from Germany, Asuka. It's your mother. It's for me? My mother? Give me that! I've seen this kind of new trend in English dubs. Is it me, or have English dubs been more straightforward? Like, they take less liberties nowadays. It's just straight Japanese. Maybe it's because Sony owns everything now. I don't know, I'm off topic. It's up to you whether you prefer the wording, but one thing I will stand by is the acting itself. Netflix dub isn't bad by any means. Everyone gives a pretty good performance, but compared to ADV, it feels kind of mono. You must confront your father. And you must confront yourself. I know that, but I just can't. Don't run away now. Not from your father and especially not from yourself. I know, but I can't. It lacks energy. There is emotion, but after hearing ADV, it feels like it could be more. Netflix actors sound like they know their motivation, but in ADV, you feel the motivation. I can't get to heaven. There's nothing I can do. I can't do anything if I can't get into the Ava. Some would say the ADV acting is cringe. Oh, God forbid people start acting. What's next, caring? Yeah, the new dub does have some good parts. I like how they're actually voiced by kids, like they're just around 20. It's just that, again, the original is more rememberable. Even if you don't like the ADV dub, at least you remember it. The only thing I remember from Netflix is that it's trying to sound like the original, but not. And because of that, it's hard for me to remember what these voices sounded like after watching it. And before you could say, oh, it's just dubs, I'll just watch whatever, I don't think you're looking at the full picture. ADV made their dub because they wanted to translate the story for an English-speaking audience. Netflix redubbed it because they didn't want to pay extra. Yeah, I remember for years Funimation was trying to get the rights to Ava, but at the last minute when they had the cash, Netflix outbids them and doesn't even bother with the original dub. Or Fly Me to the Moon. I don't hate the new dub, I just hate Netflix's policy towards it all. 
We all know they're rich enough for it, but they don't even pay their animators. This isn't the fault of the voice actors, it's Netflix's decision to go through unnecessary hurdles. My opinion is at least to try out both dubs. I especially think that ADV gets better as it goes, like it starts on a 5 or 6 and then ends on a 10, while Netflix just kind of staggers at a 7 all throughout. And besides, if you want to watch the Rebuild movies, the dub brought back the original voice actors, which you can watch on Amazon for- wait, what? They redubbed the Rebuild movies? Yeah, apparently Funimation lost the rights to the three movies and Amazon acquired them, but didn't bother with the dubs. So they got the original dub cast to redo it all. What? I don't love the Netflix dub, but I can kind of see the logic in it. It's old, it's in stereo, but this doesn't make any fucking sense. The last movie came out in 2015, that's not that long ago. Is it really cheaper to just redub it than it is to buy them again? This is just sad. The actors have to go through this all over again, and you can tell. Come on, I should be thanking you, Miss Katsuragi. My pleasure. I'm the one who should thank you, Miss Katsuragi. Moving out? But Unit Zero is still in suspension, right? What? Right now? But Ava Unit Zero is still out of commission. I mean, the actors are still talented enough to give a decent performance, but there's just something about the voice acting that feels off, like they really don't want to do this again. The same goes for the Japanese voice actors, but for the final movie, they knew that, so they didn't have that much hard dialogue. But they didn't have to do it all over again. It feels like that scene from World War Z where Brad Pitt's just pacing in the kitchen because he filmed that scene like 50 times. Plus, mix that with the fact that the script sounds like it's very literal, like more so than Netflix. Sounds like you and your dad don't get along too well. Guess we have that in common. So you have issues with your father. We have that in common, you and I. Uh it really doesn't flow right, it's very, very forced. The Netflix dub is an okay alternative if you really don't have an option, but this Amazon dub is just overall bad. I wouldn't recommend it for my life. <laughs> Uh, 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 oh, wow. Wow. And it's sad because those Funimation dubs you can't get anymore. It's hard to even find a pirated copy of it. And I doubt it will ever be released. Amazon doesn't care about that stuff. They license Banana Fish and haven't done a thing with it. No DVD, no dub, it's just stuck there in limbo. And I bet the same for these movies. For the sake of preservation, here you go. The original Funimation dub files. If you have any questions on how to do it, just comment. I don't want to support business practices like this. Now I'm just depressed. Perfect time to watch Ava. That was a grown-up kiss. We'll do the rest when you get back. That's how grown-ups kiss. We'll do the rest when you get back. Out of everything you changed, 